Hey everyone, it's Emmy and Gracie uh, at uh, Sylvan Lake in the Black Hills of California. There's Gracie. And we are on our great adventure on the return back to Colorado. Uh, I wanted to share with you something that I experienced uh, the other day. You'll, you're seeing behind me uh, some of the mountains of Needles Highway. And uh, I was on it yesterday coming to Custer State Park and uh, to arrive at my campground, which is Custer State Park. And uh, they didn't send me any directions, so I put it in my GPS, um, which is not always the most reliable, especially when you're pulling a camper. And so I was, uh, I had my nightmare of camper moments. Uh, I was on the, well into Needles Highway on my way to the campground when I came upon a sign that said, no trailers above 9.5 feet in height. And I think it was eight feet in width. Well, my camper's slightly over that, but there was no place to turn around there which was very interesting that they post that sign that is so foreboding, but no place for you to turn around if you are pulling a trailer that is over 9.5 feet and uh, wider than eight feet. So I went on hoping that uh, I had only seen things and that uh, it would get a little wider and that the tunnel that was coming up would be beyond where I was arriving. Uh, I carefully watched my GPS, but it didn't look like that was going to happen. And uh, so I saw one pull off, but it was it was on a curve. The the highway is very curvy. If you've never been on Needles Highway, it's it's a lot of switchbacks. Pulling a heavy trailer that's not so easy, and there were a fair number of cars behind me, uh, and of course, uh, so pulling over. You look for one uh, uh, scenic overlook, which wasn't very wide, and I sat there, and uh, I called a friend of mine who was trying to give me some advice. She was looking at Life 360, my dear friend K Sharon, and um, she said, I think there's an, another pull-off up ahead, but boy, it didn't seem like it, and this one was fairly wide, and I tried to... Uh, see if I could back up, but there were so many cars coming that uh, I decided to go on. Big mistake or not, I don't know. But I went on and I got to another um, pull-off that was smaller than the one I had been on. Again, on a switchback and a lot of cars coming and I hit a wall. N not literally, but emotionally and uh, I just started letting out a few words and I was upset and I was frightened. I was frightened. It's just me and Gracie and this big trailer and how do you pull around and do you want to be on the five o'clock news as the trailer that shut down Needles Highway in the Black Hills? No. <laughs> so, uh, I finally flagged down somebody that would stop. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Wisconsin. I didn't get your names, but they were great. They were able to, uh, she stopped traffic while he helped me back up into a little um, tiny dirt road that had a drop off right after that. We were up quite high, uh, but he, he carefully watched me as I backed up and thank you God for the fact that this uh, challenge didn't come until later in my journey and I've learned how to back up the trailer fairly well. Uh, and we stopped traffic for a bit. I got turned around. Now, the reason I'm sharing this nightmarish story with you is one, if you're driving on Needles Highway, pulling a trailer and you see that sign, stop, turn around, don't go on. Huh. Uh, the second reason I'm sharing that is, uh, reminds me of a message I heard, oh, sometime back when I was doing worship at a retreat and the speaker talked about a dream she'd had where everybody in this room that was carpeted with white carpet, white lush carpet, were teacups. 
and it was very crowded. And as they bumped into each other, uh, whatever was inside the teacup would spill out. Some of it was dark and ugly. And she used it as a teaching message, and it reminded me yesterday of when I hit that wall, that proverbial wall, and a few nasty words came out of my worship leader mouth. Sorry, God. And uh, fear erupted out of me, and that's what spilled out. That's what was inside. I'm not proud of it, but that's what was inside. I share that because whatever we're uh, putting in will come out. If we're putting in confidence and courage and hope and faith, that's what will come out. If we're putting in fear and ugliness and greed and impurity, that's what will come out. So that's... Uh, the second reason I share this, and the third reason is this. When you hit a wall and you don't know how to go on, don't try to keep pushing on on your own. Ask for help. Well, as I pulled away going the right direction again with my trailer and correcting, correcting myself, I was able to roll down the window and yell to the man and woman from Wisconsin and say, Go, Wisconsin. <laughs> Be sure and ask help when you need it and thank them and God when you get it. From Sylvan Lake and Needles Highway, this is Emmy and Gracie with the great adventure. Enjoy the view. Bye-bye.